Today, we're going to talk about Flow Designer and more specifically, Integration Hub within Flow Designer. So let's start with the most obvious question. What is Integration Hub? Integration Hub is an extension of Flow Designer that allows you to communicate with external systems. So if you're familiar with workflows in ServiceNow, you would use orchestration activities to facilitate this communication to an external system. Flow Designer uses Integration Hub. More specifically, it uses spokes to facilitate this communication. So the next question, what are spokes? Spokes are bundled sets of tasks that you can use to facilitate the integrations that you want to build, that communication with an external system. So for example, out of the box, when you have Integration Hub, Starter Pack or, or Enterprise, whatever you have, you'll get a set of spokes that you can use out of box. Slack is one of the more popular ones. And the spokes provide you actions that you can use to push messages or receive messages from that third party external system. Of course, if there's not a spoke that fits your needs, you can create a spoke by creating an action. And that would be your, your custom spoke in which you can use other integration hub features like a rest step or a script step to build out your integration the way you need to build it out. So now that we know what integration hub is and a spoke is, where does it live? Well, you might've guessed it lives in Flow Designer, but let's take a look at where it actually pops up in Flow Designer. And really there are three main areas that you'll find the integration hub extension in Flow Designer. So I'm gonna create a new flow. You can just call it test. on skip our tour and the first place that you may notice integration hub would be in the trigger so as i open here you'll see that i have a rest api asynchronous trigger that i can use to ingest inbound web services and trigger my flow to do whatever i design it to do so this is the first place you might see integration hub this is perfect for use with webhooks and it is a new feature i believe that was recently added in one of the last two releases so you'll see you can provide a path and a method for it and you can set up authentication so this is the first place you might see something with integration hub then if i go to add an action to design my flow You'll see what we were talking about when uh, we were talking about spokes. Microsoft AD, Microsoft SCCM, Microsoft Teams, and of course the famous Slack webhooks. So these are just bundles of actions that you can use to facilitate that conversation between ServiceNow and whatever, whatever other external system that you want it to. You would provide your details here, you would set it up and done, and you have your communication. In some cases, you may need to set up credentials, which you can do in the connection and credentials application, where you can use aliases as, as needed. And then you would just set that up associated with your particular spoke and you're off on your way to integration. Now, of course, although while there are a lot, and I mean a lot of different spokes, if you'll see down here, the ones that are not installed, there are plenty of spokes. You may have a need to do something more specific or custom. So the third place we would see Integration Hub rear its head is when you're creating a custom spoke. So to create a custom spoke, I would just create an action and I would define my inputs and, and any steps that I need to take. One of those steps would be the actual communication with the external system. So I would add a new step here. And when I scroll down, 
I can see under utilities, this script step um, with integration hub enabled will allow me to write a custom script to create the web service or make it easy on myself. I can come down here to integrations and either create a REST web service with the REST step or PowerShell or SFTP, SOAP, uh, SSH, JDBC. So a lot of different integration options here when you need to create a custom integration. This is the third place you'll see Integration Hub pop up. And that is a quick intro to Integration Hub and Spokes. And just as a reminder, Integration Hub is an extension of Flow Designer and you'll see it in three main places here in the trigger with the rest api trigger in multiple spokes that you can find in your actions and then of course when you're creating a specific action you will see it when adding steps thank you for listening